Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I'm going to go through my favourites for March. This was really difficult. In fact, I have to have some honourable mentions this month. Okay, let me get down to the final seven that I've whittled it all down to which was a really difficult month because I had lots of nail mail um, I had some hauls so I've been wearing new nail polish but let's get into it and I'll show you the first two so this is the month that Bees Knees came into my life and at the very beginning of the, of the month I wore this polish and this is House on Haunted Chill and I know there's been lots and lots of hype um, over this polish on online on on Instagram and this polish was Polish Pony's favourite polish for the entire year last year so I'm a little bit late to the game but I had Bees Knees Lacquer in my sights for ages and they restocked on Rainbow Connection so I just jumped on it and I picked three up and the first two immediately made it into Magnificent Seven. This is just a beautiful polish. You get that effect on the nail. It's absolutely stuffed with gold and bright blue and a kind of aqua, a bit of pink in there as well in different lights. It's just amazing. Um, I'm really, really pleased that I've picked this up. So in the picture you'll see it where I've tried to capture this glowy shift and the 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 flex and the and the shimmer <laughs> in different lights so yeah really really impressed with this bees knees house on haunted chill and then Next was, and this went in and out and in and out of my top seven, but I had to include it. The seven really came down to the impact that it had with me and the impression that I got, rather than it just being a good formula and the kind of shade that I like. And this one, this is Odinson, and it's a silver gold. So it's a silver gold base and it's got loads of gold flakes. Now, when I usually think of a silver gold, and I have had silvery gold, like platinum kind of polishes before, and they always have a tendency to tip over into just being a little bit too much, a little bit too blingy and gaudy for me. Um, but this one just felt so classy on the nail. I just absolutely loved it. So, yeah, this one is Odinson. And I got lots of nail mail this month. Um, this one really stood out to me. Andrea sent me this. It's beautiful gold and opalescent flakies in this kind of muted turquoise base. And this is Six Hearts Mojave Jewel. And it was from the Polish Pickup. And Andrea got me this particularly she specifically picked this up for me because she said it reminded her of my turquoise ring now it's not quite the same shade so it doesn't match exactly because this is more of a of a muted like a dull turquoise but just look at those flakies and they just sit on the top of the polish and just yeah absolutely beautiful so this is Mojave Jewel Then I could have done an entire Magnificent Seven just with Arda's Nails polishes, uh, but the two that really stood out for me this month were Lunch Date, and this is from the 9 to 5 collection. And it's similar to what I'm wearing actually, but it's more of a... Um, it's like a... The base is a very, very, very pale green, like a green, neutral green. And it's just a beautiful formula and really holographic. It's, it's, a, it's an unusual shade for a holographic and I just absolutely loved it. So this is Lunch Date. Mm -hmm. 
And next, this one I wore, this is from the Oso oh Shifty collection, and I know that uh, I picked this up because I'd kind of forgotten how amazing it was, and it was only when Catherine did her Hard as Nails haul, and she said she was going to wear this over St. Patrick's Day, and I thought, oh my god, I completely forgot about this, so I pulled it out to wear, and yeah, it's just, it's one coat, really strong duochrome from like, gold green and there's some red in there and it's just beautiful beautiful so i've tried to capture in the picture i've done a kind of close-up so you can see the shift and the glow but this is just a beautiful polish highly recommended if you're picking anything up from butometry milky way from the oh so shifty collection beautiful And then this, would you believe, beat out lots of different beautiful shimmery polishes. But the reason that I'm putting this in here is because it was the first polish this year that I put on my nails where I actually felt like it was springtime. This is Essie Blue La La and I picked this up randomly from TK Maxx recently. Great formula in two coats, a really pretty soft blue pastel. And as soon as I had this on my nails, I just it just felt like spring is on its way um so just for that just for that feeling that it gave me blue la la by essie definitely made the magnificent seven and finally i had so many other polishes lined up that i could have put in this i mean you can see from the honorable mentions but this right at the very end of the month and I have been wearing this for, this is my third day. It's just beautiful. And I've been looking at this and struggling to try and describe the actual base polish. It's a kind of caramel. But there's a little bit of pink, a little bit of like a peachy shade. It's just really unusual. And this is one of the new holographic molten metals. And this is holographic moon. Now, I watched Nika's review video on this and I also, um, Kath with Nails and I, Barry M, sent, sent her some of the molten metals and she put some pictures up on Instagram. And this one I picked up and the green as well. And just, yeah, it, I couldn't not put this in. I mean, you know, you can just walk down to Superdrug and pick this up for 3 99 just on the high street. Just amazing, amazing holographic. Definitely would rival any indie indie polishes that you'd pay like 12 quid for for this kind of polish so yeah super super impressed with Barry M in fact just to let you know what I picked up so a little mini haul that I had when I was in London there was a super drug and uh, a Poundland by the train station where I was staying. So I picked up these, the three for two. So whenever I see a three for two, it's like two for me, one for Polish Pony. And I know that she was interested in this one. This is uh, one of the under the sea polishes and this is Butterfly Fish. And it's got a really strong uh, pink shimmer in this blue base. It reminded me, I did swatch it on my thumb and it reminded me a little bit of um, Pearl Jamming, China Glaze Pearl Jamming. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and smuggle this across to Polish Pony and the, these two here, the Molten Metal. So I'm definitely going to be getting this one on my nails very, very soon. And also from Poundland, I've noticed that they're doing the model zone, like neon and bright polishes for a pound. So this one is Polish for Tans. Um, yeah, both of them polished with tan. So this is Boat Party, which is um, more of it's a slight kind of purple pink. And this one is a very, very, very bright neon pink. That's Island Hop. So yeah, two model zone polishes for a pound each. And I also picked up another Buttercup from Revlon because I know Sarah, Sarah Hollis, was looking for this. So this is going to be coming on its way to you soon, Sarah. So that's my recent couldn't help myself polish nail polish haul when I was working away in London and the only other thing I think to update you on is my D-Stash shop is now open I think I've mentioned it a few times here's the 
Instagram address. Um, and what I'm doing is, as I'm going through my D-Stash videos, I'll put the video up and then immediately put the polishes in the D-Stash shop. Uh, look out for my D-Stash videos because as soon as you've watched it, you can hop on over to the shop and see if there's anything in there that you want. Coming up in the next week, I'm de-stashing some bright reds and watermelon reds. So if you're in the market to pick up some de-stashed reds, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, let me know what you've been enjoying in March. It's been a really difficult month for me to, to choose my favourites because I had so many favourites. Um, yeah, but let me know what you've been enjoying. Have you picked up any of the... Barry M's if you're in the UK I would highly recommend especially with the three for two offer on at the moment and uh, yeah I'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye